Okay, today we are going to be putting trains on the line that I finally finished off up to Sheffield as we crack on with the next episode here in Nimby Rails. <laughs> Yes, hello boys, girls, and all those in between. My name is Michaela, and welcome back to the next episode here in Nimby Rails. Now, um, I don't know what I said I was going to do with the last episode. I think I mentioned about working up here. What we're actually going to do with today's episode, because um, I really need to get this recorded so I can at least give my Patreons and my members something early access this week, because I keep having to delay it. For those who are on that, by the way, I apologise that this didn't come out on the Saturday, as I did promise. Um, I kind of locked myself out yesterday, so I couldn't do any work in terms of recording and stuff. So I'm having to do it the next day after finishing off the editing that I was doing before I recorded this. So I have built Sheffield Station. Do not ask how long this took to build. It was an absolute freaking nightmare. I haven't even done platform parts yet, but which we've got it built. So we can now serve that. So we're going to extend the Trans Pennine Express service first. And to do so, we need to check the stopping patterns for said service. So I shall quickly bring up um, real-time trains for a TPE. There. Now again, this isn't the full service, because this does go to... Um, now I know that they do serve Doran and Totley, don't they, at some points of the day. But I don't know which ones. That's a really good point. Uh, let me get Doran and Totley up on this. Let's just have a look. All day. TPE. Search. Okay, so they stop there in the peak times only. Right. Do we do that in the game? And even then, it's weird, because they actually only stop in one direction in the evenings. So that's very strange. What if we just have it like a two-hourly service to store at Top of Doran Totley? So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our line. So, we're going to take the one that goes from Liverpool Lime Street to here. No, that's Manchester Airport. To there. That's Hazel Grove. So, they're no longer going to... So, what we're going to do, we're going to keep them serving Hazel Grove, because... I think that's just a bit more interesting. So we're going to delete that. We're going to board and disembark allowed on both of these. We're going to automatic these. And then we're going to add stops to the line. So what we're going to now do is add Doran Totley, which is all the way down here. And then we're going to add a platform at uh, Sheffield, which is a good one to terminate it on. Now, I don't know how long we're using. I don't know what trains we're using on this service. But what we'll do is we'll do um, platform free but we're gonna go for advanced mode we're gonna pull up sort of about 165 I'll go for there-ish for now just so it doesn't look so stupid it pulls all the way to the end now I don't know why it can't find a path so let me just quickly have a look at what I've done with the signaling here um, let's have a look I feel like I've made a signaling mistake somewhere let's have a look so okay yeah that's fine um, you need to be flipped either way, you two, so that's fine there. And then, ah, there we go, found it. Flip that, flip that, go back to lines. So we should just delete that. Yeah, that's good, that's fixed itself. So we'll go back to here, so into Sheffield. Did we go for free? Yeah, we'll go for platform free. I mean, and that's an East Midlands platform in real life, to be fair. The actual service is pulling on this platform here. How long is 1A though? It's like 99 meters, isn't it? Yeah, so we'll go for. Try and get about halfway down platform three. Let's go for go for one forty. And then the other way we'll do that. Okay, one four one, but we'll do that. Good. And then back to basic mode. As we come back down this way, stop at door and totally again. And there we go. That simple. That was a nice and easy one to extend. But we do of course need to now in cons uh, also consider the wait times. So auto run the line. Um, no default timings. So it's now going to take longer than two hours. Two and a half hours. Three hours. Three hours it's now going to take. And that wants to wait at Sheffield for half an hour. That should be fine. But if it's going to take three hours, we can't really do a, a two-hourly service, can we? Or can we? Hmm. I guess there is a way to do it, isn't there? But ideally, we need it to take four hours, which sounds really dumb to force it to do that. But I guess we can have that for now. Because this will eventually run to Cleethorpe. So we can have that because it's... Sheffield's not being used by anything that's going through, so it won't be blocking the platform. So we'll do that. So it's going to take an hour and 27. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick secondary platform signal, which is all the way back here. Um, now, that track can get over to there. Yep, that's good. So we'll go for there. And we'll go for platform 7. But we'll just go to the end of that platform, because that's not going to be used for anything else at the moment. So we'll do that. So they can sit in 3 and 7. They'll probably be there at the same time as well, which is fine. 
And then what we're going to do is create a new line service and basically the new service one, which will be um, just called F for fast, not actually fast, but basically it's going to have the exact same stopping pattern except it's not going to call it Doran Totley um, or Hazel Grove. It's going to go non-stop from Stockport to Sheffield. So that will be quite intriguing, but that should work pretty well. Now, with that in mind, now let's have a look at our trains. So on that line here, which of course we have there, we have... 1185s and we've only got two of those we're going to need to duplicate those so let's just go to list of trains and go by model so 185-1 we've got 102 so we've got number two so we could do 103 and one what are you 131 we did 103 and 124 that should be fine so purchase there so 185 103 and 185, 124, not 124, purchase new trains, go to orders, there we go, so let's just have a look at our trains on that line now, so we're about to line, click on here, so we've got a 611 and a 511 currently, so this one, the new train will be the 711, and then what we need to do is, so, of 715 obviously, but yeah, do that. And move that forward an hour as well. So 23.15, good. And uh, this one, 9.15. Um, 22.15? Oh, no, 23.15. Why does that not look right? Why does that not work properly? That's really weird. Cause, oh, it's, oh, it's three hours, isn't it? So it's be 10.15 then on a Saturday now. No, that's still not right. 7.15 works. So why doesn't 10.15 work then? I don't understand. That's so weird. Oh, because it's four hours. Never mind. Duh. So, what we'll do then, we'll actually delete that and we'll have it just be Monday through to Saturday on this one. Which actually won't work will it no that's there let's do that every time then so change that order and then delete that and change that order and delete that that should work shouldn't it or is that just stupid i don't even know 21 15 22 15 15 i guess it makes sense there's no need for the uh, first saturday service to be any later is there i put the wrong thing on that basics Replace. Oh, use line color. That's why. Cancel replacement. Um, that's fine. So it will change to the right color in a moment. Um, oh, that's the point. They'll change color when they've actually changed lines. That's why. So obviously, the depot line is a different color. So then, 9 11, 9 11, 10 11. I guess the way that would work is on sun on Saturdays, on Sundays even. So this is 9 9 and 10. So this will be 11 11. So 11 15. Sorry. I keep saying 11 because that's what it says on there. 11.15 on there and 20.15 in fact that would be 11 and then uh, 19.15 and that would just be two runs two rotations or two round trips that'll do um, that should be fine yeah okay so we don't want it to run too late on a Sunday you know and then if we go to basics and clone this again this can be 185 109 and 185 one two seven. I don't know if we've had one two seven already. Just quickly check that. Back to model. Two fr one three three two six. Yeah, two seven's fine. Good. So purchase again. Purchase new trains, orders, and then this is again same thing, but we're going to just go for. So let's have a look. So six five six seven. So this new one, which is that one will be 815 so 5678 and Q steps at this lo at this point in time then 2015 because we don't want it to run too late in the evening and then this will just be the 1215 to the 2015 and that should work so if I go to lines and timetable this is just for now I'm not set to draw and top these up yeah so it's every hour on a Sunday for example and then I don't know if you can change days, can you? But no, so just on a Sunday, for example, it is every hour, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then there must be a way to change days, surely. Timetable. 
There, there we go. You can change that. And then five, six, seven, and eight. Good, right. So now to trains on here. So now what we're going to do is the second and the third in each list. So six here, that one. We're going to change this to Doran Totley. So it's sort of fast. No. no it's good way around, isn't it? So the 515 one, this one, will now be the fast service. Change. Don't know why it's saying that, but it should be fine, I'm hoping. Lines, stops. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why it seems. It seems to like be confused almost, but it should be fine. Anyway, that's a, a lines trains. Cool. That should be fine then. I don't know why it's got the the thing as if to say it's bugged, but it's or like incorrect, but it's fine. And then on the Sunday itself, we'll do the different one. So this is the seven, which again fast so the first ones and then the first ones on sunday would be the is it a nine and the yeah so the nine one and then the eleven one so nine fifteen or do we just not stop on sundays at all that could be interesting couldn't it no we'll do this so change that one and change that one change there we go so now if we hit play all of those trains should reappear and they should be running pretty smoothly and i'm hoping nothing's gonna get too blocked up but we do need to address the traffic issues as well at piccadilly i did already say i need to do that last time but we are on a sunday so it's usually not too bad um but they are running i think on time let's have a look how late is this one running you're running on time yeah you're running bang on time perfect there we go then so that's the first service extended now we're going to extend the uh the shepherd one for northern so we're going to go to is it this one yeah so this we need to rename to, uh, I'm not renaming the actual line of Ava for that, let me just quickly do that. So this is Liverpool Lime Street 2, um, Sheffield now. Of course it will eventually go to Cleethorpes, but in this series we're not going that far. Again, I've explained we are doing a North West series first, and then we'll do the next part of the UK afterwards. Probably will be the uh, one that will cover the next section of the uh, GPE, to be fair. So now we need to get this service up, which I already have up. It's uh, here. So from New Mills Central, the real life service goes Chinley, then Edale, and then I think it stops everywhere actually along the way. Um, so I guess we'll just do that. So from New Mills Central, we can delete New Mills Siding. Uh, board, yes. We can then go to there. Um, we'll just go for automatic for now. We will add new stops in. So going along, we have. So Boxworth we will serve, but not with this service. I've got a plan for that one. We're going to go to Chinley there. Don't worry that one of the platforms is bi directional to Chinley. That is deliberate because obviously. Um, Chinley can have reversing trains. We'll do this. We'll go Hope next, and then Bamford, and then Haversage, Grindleford. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Doran Totley, keep going. And then for this service, what we'll do is we'll have this pull into platform. I don't know what like, length the trains are, to be honest, but we'll go to platform 1B for this service, just to be different. And I think this is going to just say two hours. Can it do an hour and a half? Because we could do a half hourly service on this. One hour 45. No, okay, we'll do two hours. It's easier that way. Good. And it will wait at Sheffield for its custom wait duration. So there we go. Keep adding stops so we go back the other way. Doran Totley. Uh, there. Grindleford. Have a sage. Oh, have a sage. Bamford. Hope. Keep going. Round to Edale. Down this way. To Chinley. And then ignoring Bucksworth for now. I have a plan for that, as I said. And then New Mill Central. So what we're then going to do is, for the New Mill Central stop as well, because I haven't done that, is on this, just click, pick main platform. We're going to go back to 2E there. And then it doesn't need a secondary platform anymore because the trains won't be terminating there. So that should hopefully be good. It shouldn't, hopefully, they, I mean, all being well, they shouldn't get in each other's way either, which is great. Um, so that is there. Chinley, then New Mill Central. And then that's the full service. So now, trains... I'm going to go back to line, group by line. Go back to number to NT17. So we have the one train on that at the moment doing the runs. Um, because before, that was enough. But now, actually, I didn't set this up properly before. Look at that. that was, it was just running 24 hours. Well, there you go. I didn't even finish doing this. That's impressive. So watch we, what we can do is copy, paste. We'll do Sunday on this for now. We'll be uh, from 7.22. And then the times on it are... Yeah, that is every two hours. Cool. So then we need to do the depot run, so a pen new order. Now we haven't got a depot run technically, have we, for this, because we didn't do one. So we should set one up. Um, we had this worked out and I forgot what it was. Was it, what was using what at Ardwick? Ardwick TMD platformed. 
Where is it? Yeah, platform. No, timetable. So one to eight is used by that. Nine to 11, 12 to 13, 14 to 16, and then 19 through to 24. So 17 and 18 are the only ones that are free on that. But we only need an hourly service. We only need two trains for this, which is great. So that's perfect. So we can do 17 and 18 on this. And then we'll have to obviously look at... We're going to have to create even more depot space now. But that's fine. So create a new depot line. 17 there. Pick secondary platform signal, of course, is back here. And then pick... Uh, oh, not that. Pick secondary platform. 18. Now, again, I will have to probably extend either Ardwick. You can see the real-life Ardwick TMD is a completely different shape, but I like our custom one. I will probably expand this specifically, though, to create more sidings, or we may even just create a new set of sidings somewhere. Um, I'm not too sure what the plan will be, but I have got a plan for revolutionizing... Um, NT... Sorry, revolutionizing Piccadilly as well. Depot run. Now, what I'm going to quickly do is just copy that color, paste that onto there... And then we're going to add the other stop at the other end of the line, which is... Oh, actually, where does it start? Piccadilly. So it's going off of uh, M5 and M6. Cool. So go on to this. We'll go to M5, which is Mayfield Platform 5. Pick a secondary platform signal, which is back here, like that. Pick a secondary platform M6. Brilliant. There we go. So that's that. Uh, and then, obviously, wait on platforms instead of black hole. Wait on that. Uh, and then that'll be just depot... ADW to SHF. SHF. There we go. Brilliant. So, back to trains. So, picking the line we need, which is NT17D for ROM Manchester Piccadilly to Hardwick TMD. If we just do Monday to Sunday, 23 20. Oh dear God, you know, I've not done his change yet, too. So, if we go to edit, untick loop change there we go perfect we'll just do that oh actually that's not right right though is it why is that not right what time is these uh, about 25 yeah there we go good 25 and then that just means that they've got a sort of a uniform system and then we're going to go to basics clone the train so let's just have a look at the list of trains so this is a group prime model and then we need the 158 sprinter super sprinter sorry two car 851 and 796 and 784 we've got. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I had to renumber 784 because I kind of hadn't um, realised that was, I had 185 before and that's a East Midlands unit, I think, or a TF, no, yeah, East Midlands, and obviously we're doing a Northern set, so let's have a look. Should we go for 790 and 871, 872 actually, yeah. 158, 17, 158, 790. Oh no, this is, I'm, I'm re the one I already got. 796, oh, 158, 796. Good. So we're going to purchase pre configured. So it'll be 158, 790, and 158, let's go 867. That's the, uh, so the beginning of a little uh, sort of range of them. So purchase new trains, go to orders. And all we've got to do is literally just shift everything. These all forward an hour. We'll shift this back an hour because I think the 23.25 end of the day is pretty reasonable. And at 8.22 there, good. Now, <clears throat> how are we going to serve Bucksworth? I hear you ask. Well, I don't hear you ask, but I'm sure you're probably wondering. Well, my plan with that is to do a strange difference in the service. Which is, it's going to be served by a train terminating at Chinley. And the way we're going to have it run there is it's going to run... So the Hazel Groves are hourly. We're going to have a two hourly service that extends on that to Chinley. And I'm hoping that they shouldn't have to wait at Chinley for too long. I just want to have to put a little siding. So let's go to lines. So the Hazel Grove service, which we have somewhere here. I think it's further up, isn't it? Is it this one? Nope, Headlock Lane. That's Victoria, Piccadilly 2. New Mills, nope. Uh, this one, Crew, Wilmslow, Stoke, Hazel Grove, Hadfield, no. God, it's hard to find it. Which one is it? Is there even one running there? There isn't one running there. Okay, that's fine. Ignore me. So, <coughs> where are we up to on time, actually? I didn't think of that. Okay, we've got ten minutes. Good. So let's now do that before we finish the video. So let's just go to this one here, Northern 17. And we're going to just copy that colour. 
Oh dear god. Right, hang on. Copy that colour. Oh my lord. Where's it gone? I'm like clicking all the wrong things right now. Paste that onto there. We're going to go create new line. NT, NT 18 Manchester Piccadilly to Hazel Grove, to Chinley, which will obviously be including the Hazel Grove ones. So that's going to be MAN2. And then it's going to be that, and then we'll change it based on where it's going to. Now, <clears throat> the problem is, is, before we can put that in, we do actually need to do some reworks to this station. So, the problem we have with the station right now is it's quite busy. Now, there is a proposal in real life to build an underground parallel to these platforms here. Now, the only problem with doing that is it's quite hard to make them fit into the real world if this was to exist. So, what we'd have to do is have it potentially... I don't even know how it would work, to be honest. But they could be terminating platforms, you see. Now... I don't know the best way to do it. The only thing I think we could try is this. Now, this is going to look very intriguing, but I think it might work. So, we're going to go off of this track here, the edge, which currently we have. So, all I have to do is go to here, move these signals back a bit like that. Let's actually take... Yeah, leave that there, sorry. We're going to bring this track out this way, like... Hang on. Like this... But we're going to go for this, and this. I don't know why it's gone to tram, of all things. That's so bizarre. We're going to go to plus two height. So it is above, but then it's... This is still in the way, isn't it? No, no. Delete that. Delete those. Let's just take these signals out for a second. I just want to see if I can make this work. So, basically, I'm thinking... Oh, actually, what we could do... Here's an idea. So go to control five for a sec. Let's take these signals out as well for a second. If we bring this out from here, continue it, hmm, no, this isn't as easy as it looks, it's really hard to make this sort of thing work, what I want to do is, essentially, create like a, a very odd looking thing, but that should provide a very useful part of our network, now, the way to do it is to go off here, it seems, so if I go from there, Control 7, like that. But the problem with that is it's not going to work, is it? Mm. Okay, that's not working. How do we make Manchester Bigger really bigger? Because you really can't, can you? But, I mean, with the middle platforms we've got reserved for, like, the, it's just there's not enough platforms here. No wonder this station struggles in real life. There is, we could just put more platforms off this, you see. Because what we could do, actually, that's an idea. Let's just do that. So, if we just take... Oh, Take this, and this, and this, and maybe not that for now. Control C, Control V. We just move these right next to, well not next, but where they should be in line with that. So we're talking, is that there? I don't even know. Hang on. Look. Um, I can't tell. I think it is closer, isn't it? It's because the um, concrete's there. If we just do that. And then control C, control V again, and just move those right to sort of the same distance. I don't really know where that would be. It's just overlapping, isn't it? So we're talking that. That should be about right. Cool. And then, now again, these are need renumbering now. So what we'll do is this will now be M3 or M4 or M5. Oh. Uh, M6 M7 M8 M9 and M10 oh, here we go now what we need to do now is figure out how we're going to so if we bring this out this way obviously still on a platform or a raised piece of like a viaduct. We do this and then maybe... Hmm. No, actually, hang on. Let's scrap that a sec, scrap that a sec. If we just bring this down, in fact, right to there, sort of parallel that track along there. Now we just move that a little bit up so it's not quite as... I guess, obtrusive. And then down this way, like that. I 
fact, I'll tell you what we can do. If we just take those two out there, I think this should just about fit into here with some level of ease. She says, hoping and praying, and it's not working. Let's try this. Bring that into there. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. Hang on. We could bring this round here and then into this piece of track like that. Right? And then this here can come off there, or that can come from there into this, like that. And all we have to do is just shift it around a little bit, just to make the shape look quite... I guess that's good enough, isn't it? And then again, we need to then bring that into... So if we just bring this down like this, and then in, like that. And then if we just cross over, like so, there we go. That is pretty much what we need it to do. So that is four new, new platforms. It's not the most pretty of uh, buildings I've ever made or builds I've ever made, but look, it, it works, it functions. So if we go for that for now, we can then have this new line, which we're going to just copy the color off here, paste that onto here. We'll obviously have to also build a new Ardwick Depot uh, expansion for this, but it's fine. We'll do the line for now. At least we can get it in. So this will use M1 and then... Now, I fear this should be the same section platform signal, which is down here. In fact, no, it's not. I've just messed up, too, because I've just deleted a signal. Ah, yeah, that's a point. We'll use that. So, this is the problem. So, right now, this train here is blocking this line. So, really, if I put a signal... I've been thinking this. If I put a signal here, right, I don't think that will cause issues. I'm not too sure. Although, it shouldn't be really going in there. It should be going in this way. But, let's just do that and just see what happens. Uh, that's Rose Hill Marple. Where's the other one? I will redesign this junction um, between now and the next part. Ah, is this the next one? No, that's the Wilmslow Ex Express to the airport. Or the airport one. Again, they could probably pull into one of these Mayfield platforms and then therefore cause less jams. But it's okay. We'll leave it for now. What's using this platform? I'm so confused. And why can't I get it to churn up? Where are they? Is it... Watch me. Am I waiting for a train that's like stuck. It might be because it's the Sheffield one, isn't it? Don't know. Well, it's here either way. So let's do that. Click on Sheffield. At uh, Sheffield, Piccadilly. Secondary platform. Signal. There. There we go. Right now, go back to the line we're doing, which is this one. Secondary platform signal. Which is that one. Secondary platform which is M2. Good, there we go. Now we can put the stops in. So, this will go... Um, yeah, so it's going to do the Hazel Grove service, which does... Well, it doesn't always, but in our net on our network, it will stop at Levenshim and, and Heaton Chapel every time.
Right, okay, so that is what I've just done. I've had to do, I'm going to have to time lapse that because I didn't realize how long it was taking me. I kind of get lost in these timetables. So the timetable was not easy to make on that. But what I've done for this service is I've made two variants. So as I said, so this is the Chinley service, which if you noticed that while I was doing that, I labeled it as Hazel Grove, but it was the Chinley, so I confused myself. But this one obviously goes all the way through, stops everywhere. And then there's just this Hazel Grove service, which obviously just terminates at Hazel Grove in platform number one and head straight back out. It only waits, it waits there for 26 minutes, which might cause issues. So we're going to probably have to actually send that one to a siding, but we're going to leave it as it is. And then we'll probably, I'll change that off camera because if I do it now, it's going to take too So I will change that. By next time you see this, I'll have done that. I'm going to do it as soon as I finish recording. But the Chinley service only waits in Chinley for five and a half, five, which is under six minutes. So hopefully it shouldn't get in the way of anything. I'm hoping. That's me basically just hoping and praying. Um, anyway, now the way I've done it is if you go to the lines. So firstly, the trains on during the week, they sort of alternate between the two. And the only way to do that was to just add new services in every time. But then on Saturday, what I've done is the 10, the 11, 20, the 10, 27, sorry, which goes all the way through to Chinley, then followed by the 11, 27 and every hour or not 27, uh, sorry, 32, every hour after that until this one at 16, 32. So these ones here, all of these ones in the middle of the day on Saturday, they run only as far as Hazel Grove and then they return to Chinley for the evenings. And then on Sunday, they all only run as far as Hazel Grove. So that's what I've done for that. I will now, as I said, I'm going to go through now and just quickly um, adjust this a little bit in terms of I want to have the Hazel Grove ones actually wait in a siding. So I'm going to go and quickly install that. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you have enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below of any feedback. And once again, if you're watching this on Patreon or as a member on YouTube, please note that as we go into this new week, um, I will be now getting back on track with my recordings and stuff and editing. So hopefully all your early accesses should return back to normal days. And I really apologize, but I've been a bit behind this past week. And then obviously yesterday I locked myself out there, which was really good. So I couldn't even get it out when I promised it. But yep, yeah, I'll see you next time in NimbyRails or in the next video you choose to watch. Goodbye for now.